Hey everyone, I've got some great news for AT&T stock and Verizon stock investors and the good news is in regarding competition. Now there was some fears that when T-Mobile started offering lower prices that there would be an increase in competitive forces in the industry that AT&T and Verizon would retaliate by offering lower prices and promotions of their own. Thankfully, that hasn't been the case. Why is that thankfully? Well, when companies compete fiercely against each other, it's good news for customers and bad news for investors. Because when companies are competing against each other, offering more promotions, spending more money on advertising, increasing supply, lower prices, that's all working to lower profit margins because that's all more money being spent and less money coming in, which is bad news for the bottom line, right? Less profitability. Before T-Mobile really disrupted this industry, it was a very, very friendly, I would say, in relatively speaking, among all of the industries you could think of, AT&T... Verizon and the other players were mostly just happy to make the money they were making without fighting too fiercely against each other for market share. And recently only there was some fear that that would change, but thankfully that's not the case. So here's the latest update from AT&T's CEO on what he thinks about this and how he's thinking about competition and lower prices, promotions, and all of that in the industry. So he says, I, I don't know that broad promotions has necessarily been the primary or by any means the exclusive means of us getting customers. So a good start already saying that, you know what, our strategy to get customers is not by offering more promotions and lower prices. And I feel like the market is healthy in terms of competitive forces. And I feel like our tactics continue to be durable. Durable is the key, meaning sustainable. And again, that's another reason why the fierce competition is bad news is because it's unsustainable. You can't just keep competing against each other, right? Think of this scenario. One company lowers its prices. The other company retaliates by lowering its, its price below its rivals. What's the rival going to do? Lower its prices below its competitor. And then on and on and lower and lower and lower until what? Until everyone is out of business or at least someone goes out of business and maybe one of them survives. Even if they do survive, they're going to be wounded. They're going to be very wounded from that battle, lowering prices, hurting the company's profitability, cash position, and so on and so on. So it's not sustainable. It's a short-term tactic aimed at driving your competitor either out of business or forcing your competitor to say, okay, you know what, you win, we back off, we're not lowering prices anymore. So AT&T goes on to say, we have been very focused on ensuring that we're getting the right kind of growth, not just any kind of growth. I don't want empty calorie growth. We want customers to come in and pay good recurring rates that are going to stay with us for a long period of time. Boy, should that be refreshing to investors. Management focusing on the right kind of customer, not just going after growth for the sake of growth. Now, you, if you've been following my channel, you know I cover a lot of companies that are investing aggressively in growth and losing a lot of money on the bottom line. And I often say, what's the point? What's the point? Why are you going after this growth if it's leading to massive losses on the bottom line? And the path, the connection to when it will actually lead to profits seems uncertain. So I, I'm skeptical of those kinds of strategies. AT&T CEO goes on to say, we have opportunities where we can co-market co-market multiple products into a customer, which makes them even stickier and dries up drives up lifetime values. In other words, there are certain customers that make for a good fit with AT&T and those are the customers we're going after. We're going after the customers that we think we can serve best and drive the most profit for us. We're not just going after any customer, right? We're being selective. 
and that's important I think a lot of businesses have forgotten the art of customer selection they've been, just been interested in oh my god it's a customer let's go get them right without focusing on choosing the customer is it the right customer for you is it a good match because if you're just going to go after a customer you're going to spend let's say a hundred dollars for example to acquire this customer and the customer is going to leave you after two months well you will have just lost a lot of money most likely and so it's important to focus on customer selection which is great news for investors that AT&T is focusing on this and it's good news for Verizon because it's AT&T is choosing the customers that are best fitting for AT&T, which is going to leave a lot of other customers for Verizon to choose from. And so they can both select customers and pick the best ones that are best fitting their companies and driving profitability instead of having an industry where it's like, I'm going to lower my price. No, I'm going to lower it. Mine even lower. No, I'm going to lower mine even lower. And down 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 and there goes all the profitability for the industry so the fact that AT&T is coming out and saying this and you better believe that Verizon and T-Mobile and others are paying attention to what AT&T is saying in this conference call because billions of dollars are at stake here and they're paying attention to what their competitors are doing and saying so by AT&T coming out here and saying, look, we're not just going to go after every customer. We're not going to spend all this money to go after customers. We're not going to lower our prices and so on and so on. Message after message after message to the industry saying, we're not going to start this war. And so the others in the industry can look at this and say, okay, we like the, we like the sound of that. We won't lower our prices either. Maybe we'll even raise our prices. And so we won't fight with you for your customers. If you're not going to fight with us for our customers, let's all just be stable and let's generate our profits, serve our customers, and everyone wins in the process. So for those reasons, I think this is great news for AT&T stock and Verizon stock investors that the industry competitive pressure is easing is not intensifying and that's always great news for investors all right but that's all i've got for this video i hope you've enjoyed the insights i've provided i'm going to link to a few more videos that i've done on at&t and verizon at the end of this one if you want to go go deeper in your due diligence into these two very high yielding dividend paying stocks thank you so much for watching I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.